In today's global environment, there is an increased urgency for understanding, not simply between faiths, but within faiths as well. Every day, the International Institute of Islamic Thought, IIIT, takes on the challenge of reviving the Islamic legacy and addressing the crisis of the Muslim Ummah, enabling it to draw on the magnificent guidance of the Quran and the Sunnah and fulfill its leadership role in the human family. When we talk about introducing IIIT, we're talking about a unique institution that was established and dedicated to one cause, which is the form of Islamic thought. And of course, after about 30 plus years, this same mission has been diversified, had developed itself, and manifested itself into several aspects of Muslim intellectual life, both in the West and in the Muslim world. What we think where we're missing is graduates of Sharia schools and Islamic uh, departments of Islamic studies in the Muslim world are really not able to articulate the guidance of the Quran, of the scripture, of the Sunnah to guide the Muslim Ummah into a better future, to guide the Muslim Ummah to find its place in the world scene today. The mission of IIIT in the U.S. is to encourage Islamic uh, studies in American universities and to promote the study of Islam, its history, its civilization, Islamic jurisprudence, and Islam and Muslims uh, worldwide. In addition, to conduct research in areas of primary interest to Muslim communities in the West, such as the jurisprudence for minorities and systems based on maqasid, sharia, or the higher objectives of Islamic uh, law. I see IIIT's mission today, as it's defining it, is to take a major leadership role among the Muslim intelligentsia in America to um, define Islamic values in a way that is, can be easily understood and in integrated uh, into uh, American political values and global democratic values. But the mission did not come without its challenges challenges that were met head-on by the founders of IIIT. Among the founders of IIIT were renowned scholars and leaders, such as Dr. Abdul Hamid Abu Silaman, Dr. Tahajabir Alawani, Professor Ismail al faruqi Dr. Jamal Abarzinji, Dr. Ahmad Totonji, and Dr. Hisham Al-Talib. Since inception in 1981, IIIT has sought to reform Islamic thought in ways that address the challenges of the modern world, like the relationship between faith and reason, between science and religion, and the grand challenge of establishing peace, prosperity, and freedom for all humanity. IIIT has positioned itself as an important intellectual agency for the appropriation of traditional Islamic thought on the modern context. I hope that IIIT can contribute to this better understanding of the relationship between reason and faith by the, continuing its work and, and what it's done through sponsoring lectures, through sponsoring studies, especially in the last few years through getting people to become more interested in a deeper reading of the sacred text of, of Islam. Now nestled in the suburbs of Washington, D.C., the IIIT headquarters is just one of 17 offices and affiliates around the globe. Worldwide, IIIT brings together some of the finest minds to tackle the growing need for effective melding of Islamic wisdom with contemporary thought and modern science and technology. And with the rise of the Arab Spring and the current debates in much of the Muslim world, whether you're in Libya or in Egypt or in Tunisia, we have seen the, the rise of political Islamic political parties to political power and their attempts to now rewrite the constitution in a way that is in keeping with what Muslims believe to be their, their, to be their social contract between God and humankind. In essence, IIIT strives toward the reform of Islamic thought to address the challenges of the modern world. 
through supporting the research of hundreds of scholars and dozens of institutions around the world and conducting scores of international and regional conferences alongside thousands of seminars and panels on Islamic thought and publishing over 500 books related to the revival of Islamic legacy, Triple IT stays at the forefront of intellectual activity in the Muslim world while introducing new methodologies and approaches that help today's Muslim scholars use past wisdom to analyze current issues. Now in Egypt and Tunisia, there are movements and political parties trying to bring Islam closer to society. We need to have more detailed studies and Triple IT and other research organizations can provide tremendous support and help. Triple IT is ahead of the game now in terms of the post-revolution era and the Islamic thought that is needed in rewriting and redefining a lot of the Islamic approaches to governance and constitutions and the state. None of this can be accomplished without the contribution of scores of researchers and scholars from around the world. The founders of Triple IT resolved to establish a strong financial base for the organization to secure financial independence through the institution of Waqf, or Islamic Endowment. When we looked our, at our legacy, we found that the appropriate system was the system of Waqf Endowment, whereby we can have a permanent endowment and invest them and the income of that will give continuity for the services and the operation of the Triple IT. Triple IT makes a distinct effort to reach out beyond the academic community and into the community at large, understanding that changing the face of contemporary Islamic thought and life must be done from the ground up through education designed for average individuals as well as those with more knowledge. The Fairfax Institute is not Triple IT's only educational venture. What we're doing is we're, we're really establishing a foundation for students um, of the Quran and Islamic studies to establish a foundation in the language of the Quran. The Institute gave a $1.5 million gift to George Mason University in Fairfax, Virginia to enhance the university's Islamic studies program. It also supports the Center for Interfaith Studies and Dialogue at Nazareth College in Rochester, New York, and Huron College, the University of Ontario, Canada. Interfaith is a powerful way to reach out to other faith communities to tell them how much there is in common and what a moral, a collective moral responsibility we have as a community of faith. In addition, Triple IT embarked on a joint project with the Hartford Seminary for the education and training of chaplains and imams. Triple IT has committed itself to help improve that leadership. We recognize that there are imams who have uh, excellent skills in Islamic knowledge, but may not be fully conversant with the or be comfortable in the American, contemporary American environment. On the other hand, there are imams who are very comfortable in dealing with the issues of the day, but may have some deficiencies in Islamic sciences and knowledge. What this program does is give leaders the tools they need to serve the community. I've been transformed in the ability to counsel, learning about the history of Islam in America. This program is going to take Islam in America to the next level. For professors at these major academic institutions, the resources that Triple IT provide serve as an invaluable contribution, not simply in enhancing their curriculum, but in enriching the university's community at large. Triple IT has pioneered many great works, and its legacy has only just begun. The future of Triple IT is primarily in the area of reforming education and setting the standards for higher education in Muslim countries and for Muslim communities in the U.S. The future of Triple IT is to continue on our path of original research, uh, publication, uh, education, training, locally and nationally and internationally. It is my hope as a scholar to see the, the International Institute of Islamic Thought grow both in scope and in activity because we need it. It is a unique institution dedicated to the study of Islam and Muslims 
historically and in the contemporary world. With over 500 publications in over eight languages, IIIT is revolutionizing the ways that Islamic thought is pursued, perceived, and projected worldwide. What a moral, a collective moral responsibility we have as a community of faith to build a better America, to build a better nation, a caring and gentle nation, which is really the founding father's vision for America. And we think right now, while we blame at people of faith, blame materialism and so on, but there's also a big responsibility on people of faith to come together to develop and articulate their position and sell their product of love, of affection, good neighborhood to the society at large to build that better society and better community. Triple IT, reform of Islamic thought.